Welcome to the review of the CYBR Finance in the series of our EYBR magazine. Today we sum up the closing day of the tournament and we also take a look back on the most important moments from that baton. We have all the qualifiers for the EYBR Super Final after Solnok and the host played an all-in battle on Sunday. The best players give their best if it's really needed. Today the two talents Come in the prospect watch. Would you like to see the biggest dunks, the most astonishing blocks, and the key baskets of these four days? If yes, you should watch our top five. Alexander Shashkov led the way for Helios Sons with his 15 points, and Gregor Glass chipped in with 17 as the Slovenians set the tone in the first quarter with a 25 to 16 start. Then they clinched their only one win here in Debrecen in the third, after which they were in front by 25 points. Sam Taivo and their company didn't put too much energy in this one, as they continued the tournament in the afternoon with a do-or-die game against Debrecen. The Finnish Muki and the Hungarian Vasas Academy were the two group winners in the regular season, but Muki had already clinched its championship title before the tip-off. The first half was a really intensive one, and Vasas led by two points, but Vilet Takmanainen gave an extra push to his squad, and Muki got the victory in the second half relatively easily. The two best performers of Vasas were Adam Somogyi, who scored 19, and Domonkos Kelenföldi, who finished with 18 points and 10 rebounds. But the team from Budapest couldn't compensate the absence of its four key players. Here we can see the gold medalist of the under-16 category. The battle of the day started in a crazy pace. The opening quarter ended with a 25-25 score, but the terrific Sam Taibo changed the game in the following period. The Nigerian post player put up the strongest double-double of the tournament in the under-16 category, as he had 30 points and 23 big rebounds. Debrecen didn't have enough energy to come back in the closing minutes. As a result, both teams finished with a 2-2 record, but Solnok advanced to the Super Final as a runner-up because of the head-to-head -head result against the host. Here are the results of day 4. And let's see the final standings. However, Debrecen won 3 out of 4. The home team couldn't make it to the EYBR Super Final because Flash Belgrade had a blowout win against them on Thursday. Eventually, the two regular season group winners advanced as they won their last contest respectively after they played a very tough game against each other on Saturday. That 66-2-61 victory for Tibona means that the Croatians are the CEYBA champions this year. Roko Prukacin got his well-deserved MVP title. The big man of Tibona started with 25 points, 20 rebounds and 3 blocks against Cluj Napoca in the title clinching battle on Sunday. Muki was even more dominant here in Debrecen than they were in the regular season. After winning their key game against Helios back in their finals debut in thrilling overtime, they didn't give any chance for the other contenders, what resulted in 12 0 over a record. Although Debrecen had high hopes as they started with two big victories, but the home squad couldn't stop Sam Taivo and Solnok on the game for the second place, therefore Solnok has the chance to represent Hungary in the Super Finals of the EYBL in 2016. Wille Tachvanainen could take home the MVP trophy along with the gold medal. 
The best scorer of the Finnish Muki also scored the most memorable basket of the tournament as he saved his team against Helios on Friday. He showed great skills and leadership throughout the whole final five. Sonok was the happiest team in the under-16 category on Sunday, despite their loss against Helios. Can we say that Hungarian runner-up uh, had the best energy management in the tournament? Of course, yes, because they won their most important games. And thanks to this, they could earn the spot in the Super Finals. And they also didn't play too much with uh, Sam Taivo in those not-too-important games. And as a result, he could erupt for a fantastic double-double on their uh, most important game. And however, Aaron Frank, one of their best players, was missing during the tournament. They didn't have any problem with that because they beat Debrecen on the critical game. Vasas Academy had a heartbreaking first half against Muki. But in the battle of the regular season's uh, winners, the Finnish squad paid enough attention uh, close its unbelievable uh, campaign with the victory. The two most important things in their campaign was the consistency and the no-pressure situation. However, they finished the regular season with an unbeaten record. They didn't put too much pressure on themselves. And back in the beginning of the tournament, they won their most critical game in an overtime win. And their leader, Papan Ainen, played his best when it was needed the most. So I think there was no question that they can finish with this kind of play on the first position and they earned that spot. Well, some of the results of the under-14 category didn't include any upset. But Cluj Napoca was close to climb to the third place. Who saved the day for Debrecen? Of course, this was Benze Neubirth who had Another unbelievable double-double with 18 points and 18 rebounds. He had 12 offensive boards again and Akos Nemes also added 26 points and 8 steals. So he was outstanding in defense and the home team could save the day and could save their spot. And uh, I think it's also a well-deserved third spot for them. However, they couldn't finish in the first two. Guess who got the spotlight in the prospect watch? Hmm. My choices would be the two most outstanding players of the under-16 category. It was not such a difficult question. Let's see who they are. Sam Taibo had something to say after having some non-outstanding performances. The Nigerian-born youngster of Solnok brought down the house against Debrecen and the host had no answer. The athletic double-double machine finished with 30 points and 23 rebounds collected nine of them in the offensive and, what's more, he added three blocks. Samuel made 13 of his 20 field goal attempts, he really set the tone in the do-or-die game of Sunday and punched the ticket for Solnok to Estonia for the EYBR Super Finals. Vila Takmanainen clinched his MVP trophy with a strong all-around game. The leader of the champions nudged 25 points out of only 12 field goal attempts to go along with 6 rebounds, 4 assists and 5 steals. He was dominant on both ends of the floor against Vashash Academy and he led the way for the Finnish Muki to secure its unbeaten record for the whole CEYBA season. It's the best way to show what a great tournament it was. I think it's to show you the top five moments of the four, these four days. Debrecen is on the defense and Akos Nemes, the master of steers. Then the tough layup. What is it like to make a layup? Next to Sam Taivo, he swats it away. And how is it like when Taivo is on the other hand? Let's see this putback slam.
the most memorable basket of the tournament from the MVP. Ville Takvanainen. He makes it. And they, they went overtime. And the most spectacular moment of the whole tournament is Sam Taibo again with a huge block. He saves the day for Sornok who advanced to the Super Finals. We hope you enjoyed our premiere series of the EYBL magazine. Gabo Gibero and Tomás Perjési would like to say thank you for the watching. Bye. Bye.